Hi everyone, today with us we have Shruti Grover. She is currently B.Tech final year student in Information Technology from Banasthali Vidya Peet and currently she is working as Software Engineer Intern at Flipkart. Talking about her past experience, she has worked as SG Intern at Visa and she has also been a part of various tech events such as uh, Flipkart Girls Wanna Code, JP Morgan Chase for Good and Goldwyn Insight Series and much more. Besides this, she has been an industry mentor uh, as well. So welcome Dee, thank you for joining me and today we'll be learning a lot from you about Flipkart Girls Wanna Code. Thank you Preta for hosting me. I'll be happy to share about my journey. Okay Dee. So my very first question to you is, what is Flipkart Girls Wanna Code and who is eligible for this uh, event or program, whatever it is? So this is the Flipkart Girl Wanna Code program is basically designed by Flipkart. It was the initiative that was took around 2018. And this is the fifth cohort that will be launching on, will be having first taste on the first week of April. So the eligibility criteria is uh, you should be a female candidate that must be in a pre-final year student or the final year student. That means third year or fourth year students are eligible for it. And you can be of any specific uh, specialization. It's not compulsory that you should be from electronics, computer science. You can be from any specialization, but you should be pursuing bachelors in tech technology or engineering. And you you can also participate if you are pursuing MTech. That means both first and second year students are also eligible who are doing MTech. So that's about the eligibility criteria. Basically, it is designed for the girls of tier 2 colleges. Tier 2 and tier 3, you can say any college student can participate. Okay, Dee. So now moving ahead, my next question to you is, uh, since we are talking about Flipkart Girls Wanna Code, so what are its benefits? Suppose uh, if I participate in this event and get selected, what are the benefits that I'll be getting? And I want to know more about its process as well. Like what are the number of rounds and what can we expect from each round? Okay. So basically, if I talk about the benefits, so if you are selected for this cohort, so you will be enrolled in a program that is basically designed for the students who want to prepare for their interviews, not only for Flipkart interviews, but uh, their program is also helpful to crack the companies like Google, Uber, Microsoft, Adobe all these companies. So basically they design a program that is completely based on data structures and algorithms and they start covering the topics from the beginning and moving towards the advanced. If I'm talking about the beginning topic, you can say arrays and advanced topics, try segmentaries, all these topics are covered. So they have, uh, they usually bring the working employees at Flipkart that are working in Flipkart. They used to come and take our sessions on the specific topics. And they also give us some questions to solve. And then we have doubt classes also. And also one mentor is assigned to us, who is again SD2 or SD3, who's working at Flipkart, who usually takes our doubts, who took our interviews and give our feedback. So what happens is when they provide us the feedback, we are on the way to prepare for the interviews. It looks like we are giving the actual interviews, but they are usually the mock interviews. So these are the benefits and after completion of this program, you will be eligible to participate in the Flipkart actual interview process, which helps us to get the opportunity of internship as well as full-time opportunities. So these are the basically benefits. And what was your next question? Uh, my next question was, uh, what uh, are the number of rounds? Like uh, how many okay. online assessments and number so of... when you will register on the Unstop platform, you will be invited towards the first round itself. So the first round is about your online assessment that consists of two questions that are to be solved in 60 to 90 minutes of duration. So at my time, I solved both the questions with all the test cases passed within 30 minutes of duration. So uh, without any cheating or that, that was not detected in my side. And I saw because uh, it's about speed and the number of test cases you pass that basically helps you to uh, get into the program so I submitted those questions and after around 15 days I was I got a mail from the HR of the Flipkart that you are selected for the cohort and if I am interested then I have to fill back the form so I did that then I was uh, invited towards that program and then it started with the sessions with the 
SD tools, SD three hand managers, and they they went us to completely design the program that was designed for us. And if I talk about this complete program, how it was designed. So suppose there were four modules. It was one month, one point five months of duration, and it was divided into four modules. And each module consists of different set of topics. If I'm talking about the first module, then it will consist of array, string, sliding window, two pointers. Correct. So first set of uh, the that interview will come and will take us the mock interview on those specific topics only. And even the teacher who mentor who will be teaching us, he also comes and teaches us on the specific topics. and as soon as those topics will be completed we'll be assigned some questions we have to solve those questions uh, they have their complete platform where the questions are assigned and we have to solve them and after the end of every module we have an assessment suppose uh, that's similar to the online assessment that we used to give so uh, if i talk about the first module so i will be having three questions based on array strings two pointer sliding window and i have to solve them based on the number of test cases and the time limit we are ranked on that suppose there are 200 students and 200 students attempted that uh, test and we'll be ranked accordingly and uh, after the end of the module when all four modules will be completed then what happens is they used to see uh, what are the top four students top five students and accordingly they give us the prizes also they used to call us in the kipkat etv campus and uh, campus tour and all these sessions are organized for those students so this is also one of the benefit they they provide us exposure all these things and besides this then we are invited towards the interview process of the kipkat actual interview process for internship and placements so that's about it. okay di so you talked about cohort and uh, the modules so how many students are selected for cohort and how many students actually set for ppis okay so uh, i don't have the exact number but if i talk about the approximate so 200 students were selected in total that were the part of this cohort including third year and fourth year students so when i was selected i was in the my third year and after that it, uh, we participated in the complete cohort and then if i talk about the number of students who selected for the interview process that usually depends on the number of questions you have solved in the complete cohort, in the complete program so they have hundreds of questions you can say 100 to 200 questions are given on the basis on data structures and algorithms and we have to solve every questions and we have a percentage also like 95 percent questions you have solved 96 and when you solve 100 percent question only those students are eligible for the interview processes so the cohort is very rigorous like you need to be very active if you really want a ppi opportunity from flipkart yes okay di so now moving ahead uh, what uh, when your interviews were conducted uh, can we know what was the level of questions and how many rounds of interviews were conducted for you uh, for that uh, internship opportunity okay so it's similar to every process of flipkart we have the first round that is the online assessment round that consists of three questions and all the three questions were of medium to hard level that are to be solved in 60 to 90 minutes of duration and at my time i solved all the three questions with all the test cases passed within a limited amount of time and and then i submitted after a week uh, i got to know that i have been selected for the interviews now then i was invited for the first interview that was based on data structures and algorithms so the interviewer came and he introduced himself and similarly i introduced myself and then he took me towards the first question that was you can say of medium level question that was on the topic i keep trying to use some mix push type of that hash marks and after that uh, when i told him the brute force approach and moving ahead i optimized it by telling him the time and the space complexity next he just threw next question that was based on the graphs dynamic programming 
and I solved that question too. With all the test cases passed, I handled all the corner test cases and the interview ended over there. It lasts for around 45 minutes. So this was my first interview and I coded both the questions and he was also impressed with my code. And then after like every between every interview, we were given a time of four to five days. Then I was invited towards the second interview that was also based on data structures and algorithm, but a much higher level than earlier. So at, at this time, I was having two interviews. One was only observing me and one was taking my interview. Like he was just grilling me on data structures and algorithm. So he throw, uh, the questions were of medium hard level again. So again, two questions were given. They were on the topic trees, you can say graphs, dynamic programming, that track. These topics were covered in this interview. And it happens like for sometimes some students just go and cram the questions and they just solve. It's not like that in this interview. If I told them that I'll be using backtracking over here, then they'll be asking me that what is backtracking? Why you want to use backtracking? So in-depth knowledge of topics is must over here. And this interview was also 45 minutes and I coded both the solutions with all the tests, handled all the test cases and uh, told time in the space complexity. And at this time, I was not completely confident, but I was expecting a next round interview. So after that, a hiring manager round has to be conducted and I was given a one week round. At that time, I was doing internship at Visa. So I prepared that project completely. And beside this, whatever projects I did in my college time, I also prepared them. Oops and DBMS also I covered. REST APIs, all these topics. So these topics were asked to me, what are REST APIs, stateless, stateful, and methods of APIs. Also some questions on React.js because I was working on React in my internship. And also, he also gave me some situational based question that that has to be answered and what has been very challenging in your life, these kind of questions, some leadership questions and the interview ended. It lasts for around 30 minutes. And after that, around one, after one week, I just got a mail that I have been offered a full time as well as a six months internship opportunity with that and I accepted that. At last, everything was fruitful. So, happy to you. Definitely. Yeah. Like, I didn't, at that time, I was, my internship was already ongoing and I got an offer. So, it was nice. Yeah, and it was like, ki, matla, fourth year ka burden bhi thoda sa kam ho gaya. Yeah. Haan, koi bhi internship, koi bhi placement, usme nahi baitna pada. Ki, I, abhi start bhi nahi hoi thi college mein and I got an offer. Okay, Dee. So, my one question to you that uh, students would be applying now for Flipkart Girls Wanna Code. Any suggestions that uh, you would like to give them before applying for this and how to uh, see themselves in cohort, how to prepare themselves during the cohort and how to take up the modules? Any suggestions or any tips? I'll be saying that always be on time, submit all the questions on time, attempt every assessment uh, it's not like you will be attempting 100%. If you can attempt two questions out of three, just do it. Doesn't matter, but you will be eligible for the uh, PPI opportunity. It's not like you have to always be on top five, top six. That doesn't matter. But uh, if you are on that rank, that's very good. But if you are still attempting it, you are trying it, that's much more important and you will be eligible for the interviews. And always do all the questions that are given as a homework, as classwork also. Do all those questions. And major key is to crack the interview. You also know that is data structures and algorithms only. And I completely follow Leap Code and Geeks for Geeks. And the sheets, if you want to follow, you can always go through it's the Striver a 2 gems sheet. That's wonderful. I also did practice from that because I was having not much time. Some weeks were only there. And a uh, major topic that you should cover trees, graphs, dynamic programming. You can skip try segment trees for now, but that also you have to cover at any point of time. So uh, recursion backtracking, these are the most two topics. 
and always you have to tell space and time complexity also you should not give an interviewer an opportunity to ask yourself always just tell yourself that this is the time complexity this is the space complexity and because when we tell this na they are they are like impressed ki isne to khud hi bata diya mujhe kuch nahi ki zarurat nahi aisa sabzi ke sath wo dhaniya aur hari mirch complementary hote hai na aise code ke sath time complex hai by the time or space complexity khud hi bata do mat puch le aur agar if you are agar koi bhi question tumhe diya hai to start with always brute force and then move towards the object. So they'll be judging you on the your problem solving skills, and compulsory in yoga, pura code likhwaenge. They can also ask you to write a pseudo. That completely depends on that. Okay, Dee. Uh, since you were uh, doing intern at Visa at that time, so uh, if someone who does not have any prior internship experience, how would they appear for that hiring manager round? Uh, I think project, some one to two projects you always have in your resume, so you can prepare those projects. Beside this, you can prepare OOPs, DBMS, and SQL. Um, operating system networking is optional. You can prepare if you have time, and um, basically they ask you about the skill set, like which skills you have command. So. That time I was working on React, so I just said that I am working on React. You can ask questions on React. But if you are working on Java, Python, you can say that I have no Python Java. So they'll be asking you questions based on your preferences. And uh, I think uh, besides the situational based questions are not related to this. You can answer that. You always have to prepare for what are your strengths and weaknesses. These questions you have to prepare beforehand, going towards that. Uh, my next question to you is: How has been your experience as a part of cohort as well? And now, since you are interning at Flipkart right now, so how is your experience at Flipkart? So, talking about my experience, it's very good. Like I'm learning a lot, like daily. You can say, uh, if I'm working five days daily, I'm work- learning new and new things. So when I join Flipkart, uh, Flipkart has a like. 15 to 20 days of training program that are designed for us so i did that training that was completely based on the new technologies that are around us java rock wizard all these things and after that we were assigned a team and i got into a very nice team and now we are working with mentors in sd tools sd forms so daily learning grilling the code and debugging all these things are very making like i'm enjoying basically even the work culture is very good and if i talk about the cohort so the mentor that was assigned to me was also very great he always helped me wherever i needed him even in the interview process when i was interviewing with the flipkart then also he helped me because i was having some doubts whether i should cover these topics for interviews or not so i just mail him that are these topic required to cover so He always helped me by replying to what's coming. Great to hear that uh, you are having such a wonderful experience at Flipkart. Thank you so much, Shruti Di, for joining me today. And obviously, I got a lot to learn from you. And any one of you, if you still have any doubts, you can write in the comment section. And also, I'll be attaching Shruti Di's LinkedIn account below. You can connect directly with her. Thank you, Di, and thank you everyone for thank joining. Thank you, Ada, for having me. I will be happy to help you all through LinkedIn. You can always message me on LinkedIn. I'll be open to it.